I'm standing here with my girl, Carrie Hogan from Avon Liquors. Carrie, thank you so much for coming in this absolutely, morning. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, with the uh, leaves changing the way they are, it's coming on fast, falls here. And Fall I thought here. we'd talk about some of the pumpkin beers. You have to talk about them fast because they go away really fast. Because they come and go. They, they come are and go. in demand. And some people ask, why is it so early? Mm -hmm. Well, it's harvest time. Yeah. And so to keep a pumpkin you know, and, and brew it later on in the fall is really hard for these brewers. And yeah. it's much better to use the fresh mash. So all these pumpkin beers are coming out because they're harvesting in different areas. Uh, you know, Dogfish Head, this is a beautiful little pumpkin beer. That's gonna be out of California, Shipyard. Uh, this is the, um, oh, this is Southern Tier. This is a great one. This is a rum barrel aged Wow. pumpkin spice so that's very very so cool. it has that pumpkin spice it's, flavor it for does real. with a little bit of that rum barrel sweetness to it so it's really fun to come and try different pumpkin beers because everybody does a little bit different spin yeah. on it um, I also really love Buffalo Bills every year is really good this year they've got this black pumpkin so it's gonna be a black lager with pumpkin so really wow. cool and I just brought a smattering I mean we have a lot of different pumpkin beers and I know our construction is really a challenge but you can <laughs> And get through to see us get your points try some of our beautiful selection we still have a great selection um, then I just thought we'd talk a little bit about wine again we've got a great selection of Avon liquor and it being off season right now I'm bringing in some really fun inexpensive wines that you know just because it's off season and you don't have as much money you can still <laughs> have fun learning about wine um, so all these are going to be Spanish wines this first one is a Grenache Blanc beautiful little um, white great with fresh seafoods and salads and all sorts of things very expressive a little bit um, got a little bit of RS to it very very nice um, with a lot of different foods this one I love the label a yeah bit crazy she's uh, looks a little upset but anyway <laughs> this is for Grenache and this is a beautiful little Grenache again we've got quite a few different Grenaches from Spain that's a great grape uh, there that just really flourishes and does well not expensive at all this is uh, a Tempranillo from Rioja so again this is a different grape than the Grenache this is Tempranillo which really thrives in Spain very um, friendly to the American palate people really like Tempranillo so this is from Rioja a little higher uh, elevation not expensive delicious Mondstadt I love this label too I do too it's they, beautiful they really you know in Spain their art is really a big deal there you know the arc and architecture so I love it that they also put that on their label that expresses their culture expresses how they feel about their wine and their food and their art and this is a beautiful dark Mondstadt from uh, Spain beautiful complex great with barbecue it's still barbecue season um, <laughs> you know put something on the grill and grab a little Mondstadt. But we've got great selection at Avon Liquor. You don't have to break the bank. We've got great fun things that are, are, are fun to try, so come see us. I mean, it's still kind of camping season, yeah, so you true. can have your pumpkin beer for the Absolutely. camping. And then you can get some wine yeah. for like after your camping experience right. and kind of get the best of both worlds. Yeah. We were just talking about, I mean, it was a couple weeks ago, yeah. but how art and wine go together so right. all of these labels being as beautiful as they are is like kind of my favorite thing I, I agree with you I really think that the um, art of winemaking belongs with that creative you know artistic community it really does and I think it's wonderful when these uh, winemakers understand that and they either hire somebody or somebody at their own winery will express what they feel is in the bottle and I just think that's a great way for you to you know gives you a little window into what might be in the bottle so you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover right but can you judge a bottle of you wine know, at Avon liquor cover? you can because I select them I taste them and one of the funniest things is when I see a great label I'm like oh I really hope the wine matches your label because I'd really like to buy this wine because the label's yeah. so fantastic and I know it will attract people. Of course, the most important thing is what's inside the bottle. I'll never buy a bottle of wine that just is a cool label and really is icky. I won't do that. But so you can you can trust an Avon liquor. You can pick up any bottle in there and go, okay, it's, this is going to be good. So and, and also speaking of camping, don't forget we have all those Tetra packs, box wines, all those things. We've got some lovely box wine from Spain, too. The box wines are getting much better. And yeah. so for our lifestyle up here, you know, for camping and hiking and everything else, we've got that covered for wine, too. Cans even. 
So I mean, there's nothing better. Carrie, thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, you're so welcome. For Absolutely. coming in this morning. Go to Avon Liquors, just located kind of in the business district of Avon. Get yourself some nice pumpkin beer or maybe a delicious wine. And Carrie really is the wine expert. She's my girl. <laughs> That's who I go to. Coming up next, we're going to see what tomorrow's show has in store for you. So stay tuned.